Whisked into a Russian courtroom away from Western cameras and journalists. Seeing Brittany Griner for just seconds quashed any hopes of getting a sense of the 31-year-old's mental state as she goes on trial in Russia. It's alleged the two-time Olympic gold medalist smuggled narcotics into the country. TASS, the Russian state media organization which was allowed to observe the proceedings, reported the court was told Griner had two vape cartridges containing small amounts of hash oil in her bags upon arriving in Russia in February. I did have the opportunity to speak with Ms. Griner in the courtroom. She is doing as well as can be expected in these difficult circumstances. And she asked me to convey that she is in good spirits and is keeping up the faith. The Women's National Basketball Players Association posted its support of Griner, who went to Russia to play for an international team, noting the 134 days she spent in detention. Efforts to secure her release are ongoing. Last month, advocates penned a letter to Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. We now urge you to make a deal to get Brittany back home to America immediately and safely. It was undersigned by dozens of organizations and individuals. U.S. relations with the Kremlin are fraught, and American officials widely consider Griner's detention political. At this point, a guilty verdict is assumed. And while the case is high profile, it may not be the only one of its kind. Paul Whelan, a former Marine with Canadian, British and American citizenship, was taken into Russian custody in 2018. He was subsequently convicted of espionage and continues to languish in Russia. The United States government at the very highest levels is working very hard uh, to bring Ms. Greiner, as well as all wrongfully detained U.S. citizens, safely home. But as long as there's no end in sight to the war in Ukraine, it's hard to see any resolution for those caught in the crossfire. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.